take your game up from here to here. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, today I'm doing a real quick video. It's five tips that are life-changing beauty tips. And things, these things might be things you already know, you already do, and if you do, then great. But these are things I feel like I've said to people I know in like life, and they're like, what? I've never even heard that before. So I thought I would share them with you guys. These are things that just have made my life in beauty-related things so much better. Let's get started. So the first one is something I've only actually started to do pretty recently because I read an article about it, and it is combing through my lashes after I've applied mascara. I read an article that Audrey Hepburn used to take a needle and comb through each and every one of her lashes. Like, what? That's crazy. I bought the metal lash comb from Real Techniques, which you can buy for about four bucks at like most stores that sell Real Techniques. And it's great. I would not recommend a plastic one to do this because they just don't separate as well. The little um, comb bristles, um, <laughs> that's what they're called. They just don't, they're not as thin as the metal ones, and metal ones are great. If you have any kind of clumpy mascara, or even if you just like the very fanned out look, or if you don't like the clumpy kind of spidery look, then you should do this. It just separates your lashes so much. If you're having a bad lash day, this will fix it, I promise. Number two is relatively simple, and I feel like it's like a really basic thing, and I don't know if you guys heard it or not. It's not even like a tip, it's just like a, like a thing, I don't know. You have to pat your moisturizer in. You will notice such a difference, especially if you have dry skin. So don't just overlook this tip if you have oily skin. If you pat in your moisturizer, it'll not only absorb so much better into your skin, but also less of it will go into your fingers. When you really rub it in, it can get all in your hands and you're kind of wasting moisturizer that way. I'm not like a skin person. Like I'm not like a skin tologist. <laughs> It's not the word. I read somewhere online that when you pat your skin, it kind of releases the blood flow to your face and your face looks more like dewy and glowy. So that's always good to have. I pat my moisturizer in every morning and every night, especially where I have extra dry spots. And then I don't have that flakiness, especially when you put makeup on, you can see dry bits a lot better. So if you have dry skin, make sure you're patting your moisturizer in and not rubbing it in. It'll make the world of difference. And I know it sounds like, oh no, it won't, that's crazy but it will. Okay, number three is something that is also pretty self-explanatory, but I feel like some people just don't think about it. If you have flyaways, which I don't always, depends kind of like on my hair day, but I know my mom has a ton of flyaways. Like that's just her hair. I do my mom's hair a lot, and obviously people put leave-in conditioner in when they get out of the shower, right? But what I notice is that even sometimes if my hair is having like a staticky or like a flyaway type hair day, take the tiniest little bit of leave-in conditioner, like the tiniest bit, like you don't need a lot at all. Rub it through your fingers, just like the tips of your fingers. Just kind of like comb it through your hair like this and it'll like make all the flyaways just cease. It's amazing. And it doesn't weigh down your hair if you buy the right leave-in conditioner. Some leave-in conditioners can be too heavy to do that. Just make sure that you're not using too much of it because it can make your hair feel too much like build up in it. But that's just a nice little tip, especially getting closer to fall and winter season. Flyaways and staticky hair seem to be a bit more like there. What's the word? Don't know, but you know what I mean. Here's another one about hair that is pretty basic. And I feel like my mom has been telling me this and your mom probably told you this when you were a kid. It's like a tip that goes way back to the old ages. But when you're combing your hair, especially when it's wet and if it gets tangled easily, like mine does, then comb it from the bottom to the top. And now when I remember my mom telling me this when I was a kid and I used to think she meant like comb it like from the bottom to the top, like comb it like that. No, that's called teasing your hair. That's not what she meant. She meant is that when you have knots in your hair, they tend to be around your neck and the bottom of your hair. You work from the bottom to the top because it ends up breaking less of your hair. Because if you're brushing all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom, you're taking any knots up here and dragging them down, pulling out so much hair along the way, especially when your hair is wet. Even when you use a wet brush, even if you use a tangle teaser, no matter what, you're gonna not, it's not good for your hair to go right from the top to the bottom. So ever since I've been doing this, I've lost a lot less hair and I lose hair like crazy. Like you'd think I was a balding man. Like my hair is everywhere. Even my dad took my car today and he was like, what is with all the hair on your floor? It's really gross. But before I started doing this, it was like you could build a whole other person out of the hair that was on the floor of my car. Just comb the bottom a couple of inches, go up a little bit, go up a little bit, go up a little bit, and you'll lose a lot less hair. It'll be nice and silky and smooth. You have no knots. It's easier to work the knots out. There's a tip. And I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, these are so dumb. Obviously, we know all of this already. You'd be surprised, though. Number five isn't really a tip. It's just a suggestion, and I think everyone should do it, whether you're 13, whether you're 15, whether you're 18, whether you're 80, whether you're 40, whether you're 25. No matter what, you should do this. And I didn't start doing this until I want to say three or four years ago, and I regret that immediately. Like I regret it so badly. But use an eye cream. Oh my god, I can't tell people this enough. I feel like so many people are like, oh, I don't need it. And like, yeah, you might not, but one day you will, unless you plan on getting plastic surgery. It also helps with any moisture or dryness or cakiness or just makes you look older, anything that makes you look older. Using an eye cream will make all the difference. If I had started using one in high school, I probably wouldn't have the little crow's feet I have right now, which is driving me crazy. I'm only 22. It's so much easier to prevent things than it is to 
fight them once you already have them, and if you have acne, you know what I mean. You just take your ring finger, your ring finger is the one that has the lightest touch, so you wanna take your ring finger, again, you wanna pat it, you don't wanna pull or rub anywhere near your eye area. You do not wanna get that wrinkles in your eyes, and I know people say, well, I'm just tugging for like five seconds a day. Yeah, five seconds a day every day of your life is not good. Ever since I've been using a good eye cream, I've noticed such a difference, not only with my concealer, all my concealers seem to be more hydrating and less like drying underneath the eye area. They just apply better, they blend better, everything is better. When I don't wear makeup, I don't hate my under eye area as much. I really hope this video convinces at least one person to start buying an eye cream and using it. It's not gonna be that expensive if you wanna just get a cheap one for preventative reasons. I'm telling you, I can recommend them. Leave a comment below if you want me to recommend something to you. That was my last tip, my fifth and final tip, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. I hope it wasn't too, like, like you guys already knew all these things, but I hope I maybe convinced you. If you did already know them, maybe you heard it again from me and you're like, oh my god, you know what? I'm finally gonna do it. If not, then I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. And thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And like, here are my matches. That my matches. What am I saying? They'll absorb so much mes so much measure. What am I saying? Um, but there's another helicopter.